Welcome to Ask Your Aviator series. My name is Salim Bakari from Kenya Civil Aviation Authority. We are privileged today to have Teresia Njoki. Uh, Teresia, welcome. So Teresa, uh, we often come across terms like aerodromes, airfields, and airports. What is the difference? Aerodrome is the generic term that means a place that is prepared for either landing or takeoff on either ground on either land or water and it includes all the buildings and other infrastructure therein. An airfield is a basic the basic unit of these aerodromes. That is an area just prepared. It can either be grass, gravel or even paved. But it's, that is the only thing that you'll have. That is that the run where the aircraft are landing and take off. Then you come to the airports. The airports are more complex because now they will have the runway or the area that is prepared for the landing and take off of the, air, of the aircraft. And then you'll have other facilities that are included to help in the operations. Thing, uh, we have. Uh, immigration, you might have customs, you might have even hangars of aircraft that will be maybe servicing this area. We have uh, other services like the air traffic control just to help in the complexity of that airport. What classifications of aerodromes are there? Okay, the various classifications that we have are uh, based on the operations that are uh, are carried out on this airstrip, on the airport or airstrips. We have the first classification that we have, we call it class A, that is um, aircraft, airports that uh, have international operations. That is uh, the, air, the airport is, uh, has uh, immigration and customs and flights are able to move from one country from our country to another country. That is what we call a, uh, an, aircraft, an airport that handles international traffic. Then the second one we have is uh, uh, an airport or an airstrip that handles domestic traffic, which is for public use. Public means uh, it might be the carriage of passengers or goods for hire and or reward. Then we have uh, domestic airports that we have that are only for private use. That is, as, as somebody uh, operates an aerodrome, but it's only for his own use. So he doesn't have any passengers that are coming in or out of the of the aerodrome. Then the fourth one is the one where we have the heliports, which also we categorize them as a separate classification. But there's also the classification where we classify airports according to the facilities they have, especially the landing instruments, because we have uh, one which is non-instrument runways, then we have non instrument means they has they have no any facilities to help them to guide them into and out of the airport and that is uh, most mostly our airfields are then we have some which are instrument the instruments do not allow them do not guide them specifically to the airport then we have the third class uh, category is uh, where we have, uh, the, we are called them precision cut, uh, airports. So here the instruments that we have will actually guide an aircraft into and up to the landing and the precision are actually categorized into three. There is a category one, two and three. Yes. What is the application procedure for aerodrome licensing? The application procedure is uh, the a client or the operator uh, gives us a, either a, like a form, an informal request first. After they request informally, 
then we are able to give them a form which they will go and fill and uh, give us uh, all the details that they have for the aerodrome. They will also uh, be required to provide an aerodrome manual which is a, a document which will have all the requirements of the or all of the operations or all the facilities that that aerodrome has. Then we will be they will be required to give us a, a letter from the commissioner from the county that the aerodrome is, is in. Then we will also require a national environmental management authority report from for that airport uh, on how it will affect the, uh, the environment in that area. After that, then they'll be required to, give, to pay uh, charges dependent on the classification of that aerodrome. And then after that, then the inspection will be carried out. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, follow, and comment on our social media platforms. Until next time.